Okay, hey guys, Jason Domin here making another Nerf Lady video. This time, as you can tell, I'm located in my garage area. I'm a couple of my cars and stuff. Well, not my cars, but my family, my family cars, toolbox and whatnot. And I'll be making a video on the new Nerf body tool and my workbench and what I do on my mods and whatnot. So, yeah, here we go. This is the new Nerf mining tool, keep in mind. Here's a couple things I use. This is a sanding part of it, just a real rough sanding. So when I sand down my guns, but I don't use this tool for sanding, I do it by hand. Then, here's a couple sanding, like, um, here's some sandpaper you can attach to it. Stickiness, you just pull this little back felty part off and stick right to it. Then, um, an Allen wrench, you use to tighten and loosen the blade on it. So you can get this on there or this on there and whatnot. Oh, sorry, this is a razor bl a razor blade thing and it vibrates this tool. So it really like cuts right through it like like a razor blade basically just like that. So yeah. For round cuts. Replace it, replace them when it gets bro broken. And then I have the tool itself, which is really damn cool if you ask me. Um, I have no idea what the name is. I'll try to find it on here, but I don't think I could find it. Nope, I, there's no name on it that I know of. Nope, there's no name on it. But, it's really cool, and plus it's really dang safe. I use goggles just for precaution, but so far that I've been cutting with it, I haven't had any, like, issues with it. Where I might actually get, like, something in my eye, so... That's a good thing. And then here's some sanding um, blocks. I used to sand down my guns with. This is a new pack that my dad just got me. Well, not just got me, but you know what I mean. And then um, I my goggles are not the best. I don't really care for what I'm using them. Matter to me. So when we come through this very, very, very old ancient scope of mine. So yeah. I'm going to really hard to cut with one hand, but whatever. It's going to be very loud, so I'm not going to be talking. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a second. Sorry, guys, I have to fix this. Don't put on the wrong way. Um. Okay. I put it that way just so it's easier for me to cut. And you can tell all my dad's voice, gloves, and whatnot. Keep in mind, I'm not going to be a liar. I'm not saying you are a liar, Sergeant Mick, but it's kind of far-fetched that all those tools are yours and you didn't know the name of them. I'm not calling you, I'm just saying that's kind of far-fetched, in my opinion. That all this stuff is my dad's, keep in mind. Some of this stuff is certainly mine that he gave me, but they're all really his, so I ain't gonna lie and say it's mine when it's really not. The tools I use is my dad's, for that matter, so I'm just throwing that out there. And so, yeah, so this tool I'm using is really my dad's, but whatever. So here we go, I'm gonna turn it on by pressing this, and then you won't hear me talk until I cut right through it. Okay, here we go. It is really hard to keep it like like level so it can actually cut right through the entire thing without like it wobbling by itself. So that's why it's not cutting through it because just because I can't focus it. If I actually steady it'll cut just fine, but I'm not steadying it because I don't have two hands. So that's really why. But yeah, that's really why it's not really steadying. What the hell? So yeah, that's why it's not really cutting very good. Just because it's not, like, physically, like, moving. Like, because I'm not holding it to steady it in place. But if I was, it'd cut much easier. And so now I'll prove to you guys it doesn't cut you and how it's safe. So, sorry about that, guys. Um, I will put the camera someplace. Um, wait a second so you guys can actually see. Wrong way. Um, I was stupid, I know. I can take these off now, actually. I'm going to ask them wearing the leather jacket just because I feel like it. Here we go. Um, keep in mind, here's the blade. I'm physically touching it. Watch, look, I'm physically touching the blade. Look. Look at my fingers. Physically unharmed. Here, I'll use my thumb. 
Give a thumb, see? See, look, see? Unharmed whatsoever. No blood, no nothing. Hit me again. No blood, no nothing. That's how safe that tool is. Basically, no blood, no nothing. This tool is that safe. That's how safe the tool is. So, yeah. And so you guys should get this tool if you if your parents are precautious about you cutting yourself and whatnot. So, yeah, if your parents are precautious, get this tool. Find that. I don't know what to look up and whatnot. So, yeah. And JC Dominus saying, I just got a really cool tool. Well, I've had it, but I haven't been able to make a video. So, JC Dominus saying, I just got a really cool, well, I had a really cool mining tool, and now I'm showing you guys. So, yeah, JC Dominus saying, peace out.